We are pleased to announce an exciting new feature for scanner users contained in the version 2.7 app update, the addition of data groups and reports. Data groups are a useful tool that allows a scanner operator to show scan results graphically in real time. Have you ever scanned a lot of people in a distributor meeting and thought, I wonder what the average score is for all these scans? With data groups, you can do exactly that. At the recent Americas convention in Salt Lake City, we demonstrated data groups as we scanned thousands of attendees. Everyone could immediately see how their scanner score compared to others. The new data groups feature allows you to do the same thing at any of your meetings after you have updated your S3 scanner app to version 2.7. Check in the Support tab to make sure your app is updated properly. On the Scan tab, you will see the Data Groups button just below the button for purchasing digital scan credits. Tap on the Data Groups button. The app will open the Data Groups menu. The back icon will return you to the Scan tab screen. The Join Data Group icon is used when you want to add your scanner to a data group that has already been created. The Create Data Group icon will allow you to create your own unique custom data groups. The Leave Data Group icon can be tapped when you want to perform scans that are not included in a data group. You can think of a data group like it was a bucket. When you join a data group, all the scans that you perform with your scanner will be added to that bucket and will create a chart showing all the results. The chart updates in real time, so adding more results to each data group will dynamically change the graph. You can create as many data groups as you want for different meetings, different events, or just for your own distributorship your data group is never deleted. Tap on the Create Data Group icon to create a new group. This will open a screen with three different data fields that you must fill out. First, select a name for your data group. The name should be short, easy to remember, and tell you a little something about the data group. Next, select a four-digit PIN number for the data group. This PIN number ensures that your data group will be unique and that only you will be able to access it. Be sure to write down the group name and PIN number so you can always access the group if necessary. Finally, you can add a description to the data group. The description can be anything but should probably be something that your group identifies with or that provides additional context to the data group. This description will be displayed in the heading of the report for everyone to see, so you should make it descriptive for your group. Once all three fields have been filled, tap the Create and Join Group icon on the right. Your group will automatically be created and you will be returned to the data group landing page. Your scanner is now set so that all your scans will be added to the new data group. Please note that after you create a data group, you cannot edit it. If your biophotonic scanner is actively connected to a data group, you will see a small graph icon in the upper right corner of the app. This lets you know that your results are being added to a data group. If you do not want your results to be part of a data group, simply go to the data group menu and tap Leave Data Group. Tapping this icon will remove your scanner from all data groups and the graph icon in the upper right will no longer appear. Sometimes you may want to join a data group that someone else has created so that you can pool your scan results together. You can join any data group as long as you know its name and PIN. In the Data Group screen, simply type in the group name and PIN in the fields and then tap the Join Data Group button. Your scanner will join that group and it will now be included in your list of data groups. Please note that you can only join one data group at a time. The data groups you join with your iPad will all be stored in the Data Groups page. In the center of the screen you will see a menu titled, My Data Groups. Beneath this title will be a list of all the data groups your iPad has joined in the past. You can tap on any data group in this list and your iPad and scanner will rejoin that group again to add more results. When your scanner is connected to a data group, any scan you perform will automatically be added to the results. All you need to do is join a group and scan. Now for the fun part. After you have conducted several scans while being connected to a data group, you can show people the results from any internet browser. Go to the pharmanexscanner.com website. At the bottom of the page, select Data Groups. This will open the Data Groups web page. In the web page, just type in the group name and click the Go button. A bar graph of your data group's results will be automatically created. This graph will show all of the scan results in the data group as a histogram with taller bars indicating more results and lower bars indicating fewer results in each scan score category. Above the graph will be some summary statistics for the group, including the total number of scans in the data group, the average score, the lowest score, and the highest score. Hover over any bar to display the actual number of scans that are in that score category. 
At the bottom right of the screen is a refresh button. Click this button to update the graph with more scan results as they are added to the group. At the bottom left of the screen is a pie chart icon. Click on the pie chart icon to show your data group's results as percentages. Data groups are a powerful tool. For example, you could create a data group and scan a group of customers before they start taking LifePack, and then create a different data group to scan them after they have taken LifePack for three months. Or you could create a data group for a large expo or convention and scan hundreds or even thousands of people and learn the average scan score of a whole population. Information can tell a compelling story, and how you use the data groups tool is only limited by your imagination. Download the S3 Scanner app version 2.7 and start using data groups to empower your scanner program today.